Listen up, George Steinbrenner. There's a manager out here in Louisiana that makes Billy Martin look like Gandhi. His team plays 218 games a year, has never gone on strike, and not a man sells underwear in his spare time. You've heard of a team that plays both ways? These guys play two different sports, baseball and basketball. No one owns a Rolls Royce. No one has ever been late for the team bus. How much would you have to pay a manager like this? Just give him his own room. Come in, not hit. Jimmy Doremus traveled for years with a country band, but he always preferred animals to people. He was an old country boy, you see, and he had this dream. Let's go, boys. Come on. One day, he went out to buy his daughter a pet and came back with 18 donkeys, a backyard full of alarm clocks. Yeah, that's about right. And uh, they bray at 10, 2, and 4. Jimmy wanted to drop the band the and go on the road go, with the donkeys. What did your wife say? Uh, she really didn't say too much for about three weeks. But uh, after we started talking again, she, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she did uh, kind of come around. The herd grew to 600. Jimmy picked the best to play ball. Play ball! In small town arenas all across the South, people came to ride his front five. How many fingers you see? Two. Two, wait a minute. Hold your hands out, put your finger on your nose. You found it, go ahead. The object is to pass and shoot from the donkey's back. Most folks spend more time on the floor than the termites. I know a good Ben Gay salesman. We caught up with Jimmy at a Baptist basketball game in Walker, Louisiana. No goal! You have to be on your donkey to pass the ball! The church hadn't seen so many men on their knees praying in years. Come on, JJ! You won't find these donkeys around a creche at Christmas time, but they can teach you some of life's little lessons. Gigi Fouché learned never to sweet talk the wrong donkey. Pastor Johnny Presley learned not to trust a donkey named Richard Nixon. That sucker's always a problem. He's the last one to load, and I have, and if it rains, it's going to take me 45 minutes. He'll make me stand out in that rain 45 minutes to load him. Why don't you just dump Nixon? You know, there's good and bad in everybody. Life is not just a bed of saddle sores for Jimmy Doremus. As manager, he must negotiate some of the toughest deals in the business. An hour before game time, Jimmy's $9,000 monkey went to the bargaining tree. Uh, she belongs to the monkey union. <laughs> it kind of looks like we got problems. This is why Beatrice is worth $9,000. I got a monkey on top of your house. I got a monkey on top of your house. Yeah, what's the easiest way I can get up there? 15 minutes to tip off, Beatrice took off, looking for a better deal down the street at Betty Higginbotham's house. We'll explain that after we get it down. <laughs> While the troops were under the tree, Come on, Richard Nixon Come on, tried to take a pardon. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Have you ever had a monkey on your roof? Just my husband. <laughs> you scared me to death. Happily, the day ended for everyone. You scared me to death. Jimmy got his monkey back. <laughs> Pastor Presley scored the winning basket. Come on, Father. And Gigi Fouché learned that a donkey by Come any on. other name Come on. is a no-no. Come on, mule! <laughs> and what did little Beatrice you earn at the bargaining table? Come on, B. <laughs> Her choice of TV programs. Come in, not hidden. Charlie's Angels next. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Walker, Louisiana.